Yo, it's me, it's me, it's the S-C-O-T-T. And welcome to Modern Mondays, where I take a look at a 2000s film, movie from the 2000s to 2010s, and give it a review. And today I'm taking a look at iRobot, 2004? Yeah. So, this movie is a futuristic thriller with Will Smith playing Dell Spooner, a man who's very much still in the past, after an incident that happened several years earlier that cost him his arm, which is now robotic, um, uh, and part of his ribs and stuff. Um, what had happened was, he was involved in an accident in which him, his car had collided with another car, they ended up in the river, and a robot came to save them, and because there was a higher probability of Spooner living. He ref he saved Spooner and not the little girl, in spite of the fact that he was yeah, Spooner was yelling out orders for the robot to save the girl. The robot saw that there was a better average, there was a better chance for him to survive than her. So that's what he does, and so he has this disdain for robots. And so when this whole investigation into uh, a doctor's death, the same doctor that repaired his arm and body body areas, has apparently committed suicide, but Spooner believes it's something else. Uh, and when he, he uh, tries to say that it is one of the robots, no one believes him because they are bound by the three laws, which basically says that they cannot harm or bring any harm to a human being you know, and they must answer any order as long as it does not uh, mess with the first two laws. So, you know, there's that. Uh, and along the way, he meets this other this female doctor, played by uh, Bridget Monaghan, who also doesn't believe Spooner at first, but the, uh, they find this NS5 robot which is named Sonny, who also has dreams. He's a special robot created by the professor. And this leads to an investigation. Uh, this also has Bruce Greenwood in it, who was in one of the recent reviews I did for a movie, uh, Gerald's Game. So it was cool to see him in this. Um, so soon after the last one, by the way. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, you got Shia LaBeouf in this. And... He, his, I don't remember his character, but his character is sort of a sidekick, but he's not really a sidekick sidekick. He's just there. He's like a friend of Spooner's. And he they, they give him this joke that he's trying to swear, but he doesn't know how to swear correctly. We got, oh, that's a hot ass or hot shit. Oh, she is shit hot. Whatever, he can't swear right. And so the running gag is that Spooner says, stop swearing and go, or uh, quit cussing and go home. Because you suck at it. Like, because he's terrible. And with any other actor, I think maybe it would be too repetitive and too annoying. But with Shia LaBeouf, I think it works. I think he makes it work. So, the investigation leaves them to believe that possibly the doctor was actually hiding out in his office, afraid for his life. Um, Spooner goes to investigate the house and is attacked this... Uh, the, uh, the equipment outside that was supposed to demolish the doctor's house. Uh, 8 a.m. the next morning. Got reset for 8 o'clock that night. And they believe it's Bruce Greenwood's character. But then he turns up dead. You also got uh, Chi McBride. Who is very good in this. He's a friend of Spooner's. He's also like the chief. You know, Spooner's a cop. Uh, and you can tell Spooner's disdain for... You know, the robots, that's what happened. But the way he tells the story, like, I really don't understand why he would hate a robot. He was only doing what the programming demanded. Now, though, with what's going on in the story, I can sort of see it. Uh, and it turns out that it's actually Vicky, who is like the AI program that controls all the robots. They've taken all the old NS4s, and they're basically just attacking and destroying them for scrap. 
And then you got them trying to shut down Vicky. All in all, this film is pretty good. I'm not going to go deep into it because I don't remember the end part. Because I was watching it, but then I had company show up and I missed the end. But all in all, this movie is fun. It's a fun sci-fi thriller from beginning to end. Will Smith is on point. Shia LaBeouf's pretty good. I enjoy watching this film. It's one of my favorite Will Smith films out there. It's very good. Um, the special effects, even especially with 2004, still hold up pretty good today. Even when you have like the robots running or whatever, it's still pretty cool. It's still pretty good. Uh, just overall, a great film. So, I'm going to have to give... Uh, hold on. What else is there? I like how, like, so there's this scene. So Spooner has disdain towards robotics, anything like modern at, the, at this point, technology. So he has a very, it's much like ours or 2004 technology. And so I like when the doctor comes in, the Bridget Moonhead's character, and she tries to turn on the record player by giving a voice command, and then actually he turns it on, really, and she's like, off, off, because she doesn't understand this whole technology, that's kind of funny, um, he's, you know, he's got regular tennis shoes, he's got a motorcycle that, that runs on regular gas, and she's like, this runs on gas, gas explodes, so the robots, you know, and it's a pretty cool experience, you got Sonny, who has dreams, and that's where the doctor, um, the doctor that commits suicide or whatever, uh, gives the messages. The dreams are hints to what's going on. And he gives the clues. That's actually pretty cool, I thought. But yeah, overall, this movie gets an 8 out of 10 for me. It's pretty good. Um, there's just... It's a little bit slow at some point, but that's really the only problems. that I got two points for that. But it's still pretty good. 8 out of 10 for me. So what are your thoughts on iRobot? Let me know in the comments below. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I've been Scotty. I'll see you in the next one.